I'm Zach. This is Zach. And I've decided that I did it to make this video. I think many of the fans of My Hero Academia must be feeling pretty lost. I'm still quite shocked right now. But I figure if I don't have the Bakugo talk right now, while the wound is still fresh, then we won't be able to treat it properly. It might get infected, just just like a wound in real life. <coughs> now I'm sure you're aware, Kohei Horikoshi is the creator of my Hero Academia. So you might be thinking that Bakugo's passing is all uh, his fault. I mean, which is true, but uh, you might think that uh, he's to blame, which is still true. I mean, but what I'm trying to say is that you should not go out and um, send any hate to him or anything, because we don't know what he was thinking, you know. It's, it's easy to be hateful at times like these, but if we send hate messages to Horikoshi, then he wins. Ever since I found out about Bakugo's death, I've had the Asgore theme from Undertale playing in my head. And uh, I'm, I'm playing Minecraft high pixel blitz survival games right now. This video is not about me, but you know, I've never put it out anything like this before. I've never played Minecraft. If you put all my videos on autoplay, then you'd know. I'm, I'm really stepping out of my comfort zone here. I'm, I'm using the Rambo kit, which prevents me from wearing any armor. And I'm doing this because I, I want to be vulnerable for Bak... Bak... Anyway, this video is not about me. Bakugo was like Vegeta from uh, Dragon Ball Z, but without all of like Vegeta's traumatic history and conflicts with his conscience. So just his hostility towards Goku, or Deku. Another comparison, I guess, is he's a bit like uh, Nelson once from The Simpsons, but just like in terms of how he bullies Bart Simpson or Deku. He's, he's a bit like uh, Chuck McGill from Better Call Saul, just like in his relationship with uh, Jimmy McGill or Saul Goodman or Deku. If you haven't heard of any of those characters, then that's okay. Just imagine if uh, I'm your best friend, and imagine I, I'm really kind to you, always being genuinely lovable, just hypothetically. Uh, and imagine you're a competitive gamer who spent thousands of hours on a video game that you really take pride in, in playing, like climbing up the worldwide leaderboard. And then imagine one day I just pick up the game and immediately outclass you, like I'm simply better, even though I just started playing. I, I've never fantasized about that happening or anything like that before. I'm just, I, my, just, my point is, if that scenario did happen, then, then you would be just like Bakugo. Just thinking about that, like, because that scenario is it's not like impossible. I just think there's, there's a Bakugo inside everyone just, just waiting to hatch. Except me, because, you know, it's just for that scenario specifically, which I'm talking about, it's, it's hypothetical. So, so what would the My Hero Academia world look like without Bakugo? I have a feeling many of you haven't actually started thinking about that yet. Many of you are probably just hoping right now that Horikoshi Senpai is, is going to bring him back to life. Like he, he's done it before, like why, why wouldn't he do it again? I, I have a good explanation for this. There are five stages of grief. You're currently in denial. That's the first stage. You'll thank me later. For all we know, it, it's, it's possible that the characters will have forgotten all about him by the next chapter. All we can assume right now is that with Bakugo gone, his mum will probably stop appearing in the series as well. You need to calm down. Anyway, for Bakugo, I'm 